What's good? Another market review. I'm just going to go over my Twitter annotations. I posted this on my Twitter. I'll put the Twitter in the description. But as you can see, um, we had a big dealing range that we created Thursday and Friday. So we are now trading within a dealing range. So what I did is I marked the body low to the body high. And as you can see here, we have the deep premium at that 75% level and we have a deep discount. I'm anticipating consolidation. And the reason for that is if you look at DXY, um, we just we've had a huge displacement. I'm expecting to see some consolidation for a later expansion. So therefore, if we're going to consolidate, we're likely going to work within this dealing range here from this high to this low. I'm using the bodies because the, this is stop. On, the, this is just stop on. And then this is just a stop on. So I'm going to work within that dealing range to form a bias. And as we see on Sunday, we ended up opening up and we ended up having a gap higher. We ended up finding support just above that within a new day opening gap on ES. I don't really have that annotation within this, but we end up finding support at a new day opening gap. We end up coming to buy side into a 15 minute imbalance into a daily mean, mean threshold. There's a daily order block mean threshold of that we respected perfectly and we sold back within that range. So let's kind of go over my annotations. As we see, ES has had a shallow rate. So since ES had a shallow rate on buy side, that actually creates more buy side interest. As we see, we end up running to that here. You know, having the gap higher, and notice how we don't really have manipulation above true day or below true day open. That's that's ideally what I would like to see for a classic buy day. But since we don't have any manipulation above that, we use 8:30 opening price. We get manipulation below uh, below 8:30 since we're far above true day open. Then we, ought, we then we head up. We take buy side. Smart money actually accumulates short short positions here. That I seen with the SMT and the fact that we're above true day open, and we displace back all the way to true day open fully filling or fully repricing to this new week opening gap. So as you can see, this is another annotation. This is actually market open. And as you can see, we have low resistance liquidity, a low resistance signature right here. We have a Judas swing higher, taking buy side temporary, inducing long positions, and inducing long positions in the market. We take buy side first, then we come back down to sell side and we create an SMT here, right above, right above that new week opening gap. And then this this white line right here, although it might not have any significance, but this is a previous new week opening gap. And as you can see, we respect that perfectly. I mean, it's it's really like not really a gap, but it's still kind of influential as we can see on this chart. And as you see, we leave a five minute breakaway gap here. And then we have a breakaway gap here. And then we have a very low institutional overflow entry drill. We come up, we take buy side. This actually is... 50% uh, of a or constant encroachment of a 15 minute for value gap and it's also a daily order block mean threshold level we end up having displacement here fair value gap in fair value gap out creating a balanced price range we don't expect price to really trade up into it and if we do trade up into it we expect that area to be sensitive we have this overlapping inversion and we end up seeing displacement lower and we pretty much selling off for the rest of the day so as you can see here is the one minute chart we've taken sell side market structure shift fair value gap 2022 model right there notice how this is a balanced price range right here this is a two minute order block right here noted right here there's a two minute order block right here notice that this is occurring within a 950 macro here we have a breaker look at the bodies look at the candles they're all supporting that breaker we're failing to go below that breaker remember we have a five minute imbalance right here but on the one minute, that's completely balanced. We had a displacing higher. This is uh, this is the dealing range, the implied dealing range from this low all the way up to this high. Bro, why does why does someone always like try to call me whenever I record one of these market reviews? But we end up have, finding support at the fifty percent at the fifty percent DRT level. We end up expanding. We have an immediate rebalance that's seen on the two minute, but here on the one minute, it's just a trading into a fair value gap. Notice new day app, oh, new day opening gaps acting as true support. Order block accumulation at that 75% level. Notice at the 75% level in that order block. And then we end up displacing the buy side within the 1050 macro. So 1050 macro delivers buy side. 950 macro provides a reversal. We end up having swing higher, swing lower. That, that's seek and destroy that's my dis i call that a seek and destroy judas whenever we have a seek and destroy judas most often times are not 950 macros go the 950 macro is going to be a good a good entry or a good a good 
it's going to be a good run onto liquidity. As you can see here, what this was a very nice run. I don't know what just happened there. Okay, I think I delivered that. So as you can see, this is a day. I, this is a two minute chart. We end up delivering to that level mean threshold of daily order block. We then end up having fair value gaps in, fair value gaps out. Notice here, shift to market structure right here. We have an imbalance, but this actually is not in premium because we respect this inversion right here. We expect this inversion level. If we look at ES, however, ES actually does display a 2022 moment. We have dealer range high to low, 2022. That entry right there, also within that inversion. Smart money is accumulating short positions. That's seen with this SMT. It's also seen that we're above true day opening. It's also seen with this displacement here. So we know that smart money is involved. So therefore, if smart money involves, is involved here, they're not just going to, the price isn't just going to stop right here and just immediately reverse. It's it's most likely not going to. Doesn't mean it can't, but most likely we're going to see um, the low resistance liquidity that was generated throughout the AM session. And here is after right after Powell spoke, we had a 15 minute breakaway gap that we never traded into, and then we have lunch hour 12:50 macro accumulation manipulation distribution. What is this? What is this? Right here, 2022 model. This is our rejection block. This actually isn't like ICT 2021 mentorship. It's kind of a gem. But basically, instead of using this rejection block, you're going to frame it off of this rejection block. The previous, so it would be like the the short term high rejection block is what you're going to frame. And that's exactly where we end up repricing to. Fair value gap right there. Inversion. Fair value gap in. Fair value gap out. We know that sell side's likely going to be the draw. And here. We kind of consolidate. We can kind of we we definitely do consolidate right up to inversion right there. And notice what we have here. We have a consol whenever we consolidate. What are we doing? We have deep premium, deep discount. We go to deep discount, or first we go to deep deep premium. We're not deep premium, but almost. Then we go to deep discount, deep premium, and then back to the draw liquidity. And look at where we reference here. Constant encroachment of that gap. And lastly. This is the final macro hour. What do we have here? Low resistance liquidity. We have a one minute imbalance right there. Co uh, constant encroachment of that. SMT at these highs that shows smart money is involved. It's a confirmation tool, remember. Buy side liquidity taken, shift to market structure, fair value gap, simple. Notice this, fair value gap right there. Acts as a balanced price range. Look at the wick right here, failing to, failing to even come up into that fair value gap right there. And then look, we displace lower, displace lower. The, I'm, I'm denoting the 25, 75, and 50 percent of this new week opening gap. Look at the body right here, failing to close above that. We reprice. We take sell side. It's major sell side liquidity pool, minor sell side liquidity pool. Notice what time this is happening within the 350 macro. And we reprice back into where? A volume bounce right there. And look at the 75% of the new week opening gap. And also notice how fast the market's moving. It's not wasting any time at all. So we're really efficient here. We're really efficient and we're not wasting any time. We're not doing anything that's unnecessary. We're just heading straight to the sell side and then repricing higher, creating that daily wick. And that's all I really have for this market review. Um, make sure to follow my Twitter. I would appreciate that. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.